Voice over IP, or VoIP, is a key element in an organization of any size. No need for the classic PSTN infrastructure. All you need is TCP IP. And since in between the networks we have a security gateway, we will need to allow this traffic in the policy. In earlier version of Quantum Spark, you had to manually add the rules and create a network object for the source and the destination. And it was a long and painful procedure. Although we have a very detailed scale about it, it was just very detailed. Very detailed. Worry not, my friends. In version R80.20, we have released a new VoIP wizard, which will guide you through creating the right rules based on your topology. Simple and easy to use. First, let's review our topology. We have our Quantum Spark connected to the WAN network, in this case, the 192.168.1.0, which is my physical address at home, and the Quantum Spark WAN adapter is connected to this network. We have the 192.168.100.0 network. It's a wired network protected by Quantum Spark. And since it's the 21st century, we have a wireless network as well, secured by our appliance. We have phones on all three networks. The PBX server is in the WAN network. As you know, Quantum Spark offers out of the box security. So if we'll check the current policy, it will only have these auto generated rules and incoming traffic to the Quantum Spark device will be dropped. Here I have a soft phone app and I'm initiating a call to a client which is behind the Quantum Spark box. And as you can see and hear, the call could not be completed. The person at the extension 300 is unavailable. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Let's select VoIP from the menu on the left. Turn it on. In my case, the SIP server is off-premise, as it's on our WAN. I will create a new object to represent the IP of the PBX server. Next, I will configure the devices which are on-premise. I will create network objects for every network I have and add them to the list. That's it! You can see the cool topology that was generated on the right, illustrating our topology. It's much nicer than the one I created manually before. I call dibs! If you scroll down, you will see the properties of SIP services and the ports they use. Make sure your clients are configured to use port 5060 as the source port as well. Now, let's see if it all works. I have my soft phone app on the left. And let's try to make a call. Looks like we have an incoming call from George. We did it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.